Well, several 2020 presidential candidates are coming to the defense of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar after President Trump tweeted an edited video which some say is inciting hatred against her. Now, here's a bit about what happened. This was March 23rd, and Representative Omar gave a speech at the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Far too long, we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it, and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. As an American member of Congress, I have to make sure that I am living up to the ideals of fighting for uh, liberty and justice. Those are very much rooted in the reason why my family came here. Here's the problem. President Trump only used a portion of her speech in his tweet, specifically the words where she said, some people did something. And that can be seen by many as an attempt to show her minimizing the September 11th attacks. Now, the president's word, we know, we know words matter, especially to his nearly 60 million followers on Twitter. So yesterday, Bernie Sanders called the president's attack disgusting and dangerous. Elizabeth Warren has called it shameful, but O'Rourke said we're stronger than this president's hatred and Islamophobia. Joining me now, Steve Rogers, Donald Trump campaign advisory board member. Steve, welcome back. Hey, Victor. Glad to be here. Okay, so first, explain from your perspective the outrage over the representative's comments there. Well, could you imagine, Victor, if some congressman or congresswoman would have said, some people did something to the African Americans during the times of enslavement, or some people did something to some people or the Jewish population in Germany uh, during the time of World War II. So what the president did, and I think what many wanted to see her do, was call it out for what it is. It wasn't some people who enslaved uh, 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 the African Americans. It wasn't some people who persecuted the Jews, and it wasn't some people who took down the towers. Call them out for what they were. They were Middle Eastern terrorists that committed that atrocious act. And that's as simple as I can get. Um, last week, a man was arrested uh, for threatening to murder a Congresswoman Omar. And according to the affidavit, he said, and this is a quote, he's a patriot, that he loves the president, and he hates radical Muslims in our government. This was in, in reference to why he, he wanted to, to hurt, to kill Representative Ilmar, uh, Ilhan Omar. Should the president consider that when he's tweeting videos like the one he, he has pinned now on his Twitter account? Well, you know what? We, we, we certainly will never, ever uh, endorse anyone committing an act of violence against anyone. And look, we say things and we express our freedom of speech. We're not responsible, Victor, for the actions of other people. You and I could say something on the air and some crackpot will take what we say and turn it around and to try to justify their actions. So you mean look, like always, uh, uh, if you see someone who wants to throw a tomato, punch him in the face or uh, I'll pay your legal bills if you attack one of these protesters, something like that? Well, 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 you know what, Victor? There you go again, as Ronald Reagan said. This is not the, about the president of the United States, okay? People are responsible for their own actions. It's easy to say, you know, that person made me do this, that person made me do that. I spent 38 years in law enforcement, and all I heard were, from criminals was, well, you know what? I was forced to do it because someone made me do it. The president is not responsible for the actions of other people. But the president is not, is he not responsible for his words? If he incites violence, uh, is he not responsible for, for those words? I've been to his rallies. I've been all over the place with him and his team. He has never incited violence. He has never, ever suggested that people should commit violent acts against each other. That, so, that is you know, absolutely it, it, untrue. That is absolutely well, untrue. Yeah. There is According video of the you, president. Victor. Well, I, you know, oh, please. so we've seen the president say that with the good old days that people would be taken out in stretchers 
at his rallies during the 2016 campaign. We've seen him say what he'd like to do was punch somebody in the face. We've seen him promise to pay for legal bills for people if they were to uh, attack a, a, a protester at one of his rallies. So what you're saying there just simply is not true.